The ice and fire build. Ice and fire. Ice and fire. I suck at starting this, but on the bright side, we did manage to get a pan, which is actually not that bad. Um, Cause then I could get me a shovel, right? So I think we buy these three and I try to get me a shovel and a shell totem in the same round. Uh, I can't, I can't pass up the whetstone. If you're trying to go for a falcon blade, when you see a whetstone, you got to get the whetstone, but I also need a broom. Okay, got the broom. Okay, and we got another whetstone. Okay, that's crazy. That's crazy, actually. That's crazy. Okay, um... Damn, that's crazy. Um... How am I going to do ice? It's going to be ice dragons with, uh, sapphire jewels. 17 years ago. Oh, yeah, that was a shit ton of... That was a way long time ago. Holy crap, that was super long. Jesus Christ. That was a long time ago. Long, long time. Relic Case Gaming? Yeah. It's just better because we start this. We start off with a wooden sword. This is not a bad start though. I'm just deciding on what I want to do here. I mean, it's not like we can buy both of these to get the combination, right? So I might as well just buy the broom. I think that's a smarter play. Just get the broom, uh, get the shovel combination, right? And then possibly even get this wooden sword combination for a shell totem. And then we can rock broom. Actually, wait, 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 no. Because if we're going to rock shell totem, we can't have three weapons on the board at the same time with no stamina generation, right? That's going to be shovel, shell totem, and then we're also trying to get the falcon blade, right? So maybe we don't even go shell totem. Maybe we just have shovel with a falcon blade and like some bag of stones and stone situation. We just completely just skip the shell totem situation. That's probably the better play, actually. I think we, uh, I think we do that. Yeah, we buy both of these next round. Probably buy the stone as well because we're going to need it for the, uh, the bag of stones. Um, we'll get a shovel. We'll combine a shovel with these two. I think that's the plan. I think that's what we'll go for. Because I definitely don't want to have like three weapons on the board at the exact same time. And no stamina generation. Like you need at least three uh, bananas. But yeah, we definitely lose this. Going against uh, leather armor on round one is not good. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Um, What do we buy here? What do we do here? What do we buy here? We could get. Uh, can we get the combination with the with the amount of space that we have right now? I mean, we need two whetstones to touch this thing. I mean, we could do this two whetstones here, but uh, you know, it's better to just have both of the weapons inside the relic case. But like, that's probably not going to be possible. Realistic. Well, I mean, we could do this one whetstone here, one whetstone there. But like, that's just not ideal. If we're gonna have two weapons. We want both of the whetstones to touch both sides of the weapon, right? Um. So I think we just get this combination now versus later. We can buy the stone as well, reserve these two. Um, and then we just put everything on the board like this. I think that's probably the better play. Yeah, we'll just do this. Hopefully we can win. It'd be great if we could. Versus a spear and a shell totem. Probably not. <laughs> 16 critical. Okay, two L's in a row. All right. At least we did get a little bit of money from that flying Arlick though. That's nice. Let's get space here. Getting that leather armor is probably really nice too, especially since it's on sale. Um... And I mean, we, we don't really need a lot of the stuff that's here. I say we just get this and possibly sell Flying Arlick plus Shell, uh, Shiny Shell or the Gloves of Haste. Even though we can't really use the Glove of Haste, we can probably reorganize this and do like this as well. Some iteration of it, maybe. I put the gloves right here. At least it's making the Hero Sword a little bit faster. Higher DPS, you know? Stamina's a 1.2. I think that's what we'll do. We'll sell this. Sell the shiny shell. Loves the haste. Honestly, it's probably better to just put the garlic here. A little bit more survivability is probably just probably just better. Early matches so fast that relic case doesn't matter much. Yeah, that's very true. It matters in the later games, though. That's for damn sure. It's just better in the later games. It was like an easy win. Oh, because of leather armor. Yeah, leather armor. That's why I was, I was like, whoa, how did we win so good? Um, honestly, bro, I don't even know what to get here. Honestly, well, smithing for dummies wouldn't be bad. Well, with it, our only weapon that's going to be using up stamina is the Falcon Blade. So, like, stamina usage doesn't even matter. The plus one damage doesn't even matter on the Falcon Blade. Like, we're going to need more than just plus one damage, right? So, probably just super spacious. Because we're already lacking on space, obviously. So, like, maybe we just get super spacious here versus uh, smithing for dummies. I think that's probably the better play. Um, in that case, I'm not buying any bags unless they're on sale, right? Like, I just don't buy that because it's not on sale. Blueberries is good for clover generation. And we'll roll here. I don't like that. Um, Nothing here. TBH. I mean, Hungry Blade would be good if we had regen, but yeah. Damn. 
five gold. Maybe we do get the space just to get the space then. You know? Do I watch Ben? I do sometimes. Crossblade, stone gloves, and limp is crazy. Are you talking about his last video? I think somebody else came in here to, uh, saying the same thing about his last video. I don't know if it was you, but I, I remember it. Maybe I, uh... Maybe I can actually utilize this. Make the hero sword, like, that much faster, maybe? Possibly? That's gonna be a really fast hero sword, but I mean... Maybe that's not bad? I'm gonna sell this garlic at this... Or should I use it for extra block? As a whole 16 extra block. Versus, uh, you know, 70% chance, deal plus one damage. Maybe the block is more viable. Yeah, I think we do this. It was nutty. I should go watch it. I haven't watched the video yet. I should go watch it. GG's. Okay. Um. Honestly, I do like oil lamp in this situation. Not gonna lie, but it's so much money. I'm gonna have to get it right. You know, regardless. I'm, I, I gotta get it. Um. Roll space. I'm looking for another gloves, honestly. That's what I really want right now is another gloves, but space wouldn't be horrible at the same time. Hmm. Maybe I switch this and do that. Possibly. Possibly. And then do this. Kind of sucks I haven't seen another, uh, or I haven't seen a bag of stones, but maybe this is okay. I don't know why we're having a blueberry there, but making these 10% faster. You know, okay, maybe this is okay. I think we go with this. I think we got this. Hey, Titan, what's up? I thought early stream is nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are um, trying to do the ice and fire build. That was almost bad. All right, six gold. I need gloves. Oh my God, I see a deck of cards. Bro. Okay, okay. Okay. All right, Um. let's see here. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? Honestly speaking, we could sell leather armor. I know it's not the best play, but it's gonna give us a lot of space. We could sell it for four gold. We could probably sell this customer card. Honestly, we're not getting a we're not getting the 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 uh, bag of stones. So we can sell all three of these for three. I would love to buy both of these this round for nine gold. That's a falcon blade. Plus, we can start getting that uh this thing crocked or crocked cracked open. Um, so yeah. Best way to do it is with pyro, in your opinion, with reaper pin. I want to do a Reaper though. <laughs> I want to do it with the Reaper. Which is not wrong because Pyromancer has a class item, but bleh, fuck my bleh, Reaper. I'm a Reaper main. We got to do a Reaper. Um, I think that's what we'll do though. Like, I think we just sell that, even though I kind of regret it now. <laughs> Let me do this. And I sell this for nine. I kind of do regret that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I kind of do regret that. We could have had a vamp armor. Vamp armor would have been nice. But it's okay. It's okay. Um, put you here. You can go here. And we can turn you into a burning coal. I guess we just put these anywhere we want. Maybe you can actually go right here instead. And then that could be 10% uh, faster. Because the blueberries aren't doing anything for us, right? So the blueberries kind of just don't matter at all. I think we just go with this. I think. 
Chunks and daggers, D and D build. I want to see a build with Mr. Struggles, Powder Moon, and Artifact Stone, BT, Corrupted Crystal, and your normal heat scaling build. But the odds of getting those items, yeah. The odds of getting those are crazy. Hey, Loco. Thank you for being my biggest fan. Oh my god, you're amazing. How am I doing the code and fire? Um, jewels and uh, infinite heat scale is the plan thus far. We need Toad for Clover Generation. Fanny Pack wouldn't be bad. Even though it's not on sale, which sucks, but it's besides the point, I guess. I guess we're just gonna make this garlic super fast. That works. That works. Um, yeah, that works. <laughs> On the chain whoop, huh? Can I win? Can I win? Can I win? Ah, oh, so close. So freaking close. Good game though. So close. Um. Okay, let's get witch. Give me a giraffe on round one. No. Oh. Okay. Do we get, we do get clovers from, we get clovers and mana from Toad, and we also get heat generation from all of that. So Jerry's actually going to be doing stuff. That's amazing. Okay. We're doing this with Jerry. Jerry, we need space. And I would love to get that giraffe, but I don't think we can. Unless I, I can, I can, I can sell the garlic. I can sell the shiny shell. That'd be four, five, six. And I can sell a lump of coal for seven. Hey, Smoser, check this out. Sure. I think that's what we'll do. Garlic, that, that, giraffe. Sure, we can do that. And, um... This looks so compact, but I mean, I think we're fine because we're getting clover generation. Unless this misfortune eats up all our clover generation, that would suck. But I mean, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> you think it's not worth? You think it'll do infinite region? I think it'll do infinite heat. I think regardless, I don't think Jerry's going to be fast enough to turn the heat into region. So, yeah, I think it'll just be infinite heat and Jerry is just going to, you know, use up some of the clovers and heat and mana, which we're doing in mana and heat anyways. Only Our only issue would be clovers. So we need like more blueberries, more toads, etc. So we can actually eat up the clovers. Yes, I'm getting that. First jewel box. Damn, that was a lot of money. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that much money. Okay. Well, you don't really need to go anywhere because you're not eating up clovers. Realistically, it would just be the box of riches in this situation that needs to go somewhere. Because then we can start generating blue gems, which is important. It sucks that other star isn't really doing anything, but maybe it'll be okay. <laughs> The issue is Jerry means you can only scale a region. It's not speed. Look at the ratios. What do you mean I can only scale a region? He takes one heat and makes three region. Yeah, but we generate so much heat. Like. He doesn't take three heat. He, he, yeah, like you said, he takes one heat and generates three region, but. The amount of heat that we reg like the amount of heat we generate generates way more heat than region in my opinion, right? I 
I mean, I guess right now the numbers wouldn't really do its justice, but I mean, this is a 0.3 a second. We're generating 0.3 regeneration every single second, and for heat, we're generating 1.7 heat every single second. So, like, yeah? That's because Yuri is a trigger. I know, but like, I still feel like we're just gonna generate more heat than, uh, than needed, regardless, in my opinion. I don't need anything here. I mean, mana mastery wouldn't be bad, but I don't want to generate too much mana. I think generating too much mana would be bad. Because then we risk the issue of getting infinite mana, and that would be shitty. You don't have enough clovers? Yeah. I mean, once we get enough clovers, then we'll see, right? If we get enough clovers. I think I'm at this. I think I'm going to skip this. I, I kind of want to skip this. So Jerry doesn't trigger or Jerry does trigger and you just go region or regenerate so much luck that we have enough luck for the misfortunes and Jerry. And we still get infinite heat. And I think it's that option. I think we're going to generate so much luck. We're going to have luck left over. You got gifted a sub to streamer with this email. Funny shit ever. <laughs> He's talking about the what email is that? What streamer is that? I don't know what streamer it is. <laughs> that is a funny email though. You don't think both can happen? I do. I think both can happen. I, I do. I definitely do. Dark Ritual is sick if it procs. Um, honestly, yeah, we'll take it. Just because he said that, we'll take it. We shall have taketh. Okay, let's see here. I don't think I need more Jerry's, so we're just going to put you down for now. What we need is more blueberries and more toads for clover generation. Honestly, getting a rapier wouldn't even be bad, to be fair. Like, we can get rid of the shovel for a rapier or something. I would love to get Mr. Struggles, but we need money and space, and that's not a priority. Jewels, probably not that big of a priority right now. We'll be later. Not going to be able to roll after this round, so we're just going to pick up toad and probably just the space. That's really about it. Oh, fuck. I forgot about you. I forgot about you. Mm. Wait, I could probably put you on Jerry, right? Well, you're not proccing that much, right? So maybe not. Um, mm. I can figure this out. Possibly. I can possibly figure this out. not maybe we'll see <laughs> we will see i guess dark ritual and uh deck of cards okay i guess we figured it out kinda we figured it out enough <laughs> that works for me there is a good frog, but uh, now everybody's needed to generate no for frogs. Yeah, we need more clover generation if we want the frogs to do anything for Jerry. Um, we just don't have the clover generation for uh, frogs to do anything for Jerry. So yeah, we definitely need more clover generation for uh, Jerry to actually do stuff. 
Another ruby bag would be nice. I mean, for this build, I would definitely want to have two ice dragons, but we don't even have our first ice dragon. So it's kind of like, probably shouldn't get that. As much as I don't want to, sure. Mm, I don't want a chunk. Lamp? For clover generation? Every 1.8 seconds? On sale? Mm, you get any dragon egg as soon as possible. Maybe. I mean, for 10 gold, though? 10 gold is crazy. If it was on sale, yeah, but we need... Our, like, our priorities for this build is much, much, much more grave right now, I think. I'm gonna get this. Because I feel like we're gonna need it eventually. Oh my god, we barely won. Holy shit. We barely won that. Mmm. Mana orb on sale. Very enticing. That'll help us reach that threshold, the 10 uh, mana threshold. The mana orb. I mean, yeah, the 10 mana threshold for the blueberries to do stuff. We just need to be, like, guaranteed over the 10 uh, heat by the time this thing gets the 10 mana. Too much mana, and we get infinite mana, and that would just be bad. So hopefully we don't get infinite mana from doing this. And rip box of riches? Unless I take this out, put this up here. No. Nope. It has to be on a Falcon Blade. It's gotta be on a Falcon Blade, 100%. I'm tempted to sell the damn thing, honestly. 40% chance to see a bag on sale. It needs to be like, I don't know, 70. <laughs> oh, burst build, we die. <laughs> How did we not die? That is insane. Maybe stamina? I mean, they had two blueberries. I don't know how we didn't die. We'll take it though. Could put it in the armor slot, but whatever. Um. Here we go. That's nice. Ooh, a rapier. Yeah, I think we get the, for now. I think we get the we sell this when we can next round, and we just get a rapier. Now to be better clover generation. A lot better clover generation. Um. Can go ahead and turn you into an ice dragon. Okay. <laughs> Our clover generation seems fine now. Yeah, we're generating. We got five clovers at the end of that. We're generating way more than enough clovers for Jerry to do its thing. Why Ice Dragon? Because it's an Ice and Fire build. Otherwise, I wouldn't, but... For the sake of the build. <laughs> We're doing it for the sake of the build. Honestly, maybe we don't even go this. It's a 12... It's a 12 gold drop. Like, maybe we don't... You know... Maybe we don't do that and we just focus other things in the build instead. I think that's what we'll do. We don't... We don't... We're not gonna get it. We're just going to try to focus other things in the build, uh, you know. 
but then he does. He doesn't trigger a couple of times at the beginning. Like, because the blueberries are generating us mana and they're not generating us clovers. Because of the mana orb, whenever we reach the 10 mana threshold, we'll start generating more clovers. And then we'll have more than enough clovers for Jerry to actually trigger. But in that, like, first few seconds of the game, before we have the 10 mana, Jerry really doesn't trigger all that much. <clears throat> or at all. To be fair. But yeah, so um, I think, uh, do we get another Ice Dragon? That's a whole three rounds. We're already at 14. We're not, we might not be able to get another Ice Dragon. I think I'm just gonna keep it like this. Um, I do want another Giraffe. Another Giraffe would be nice. Um, and some Blue Gems would be nice as well. This might not be bad, actually. Well, no, because we need the 10 mana thruster for the blueberries. And that's gonna, that's just going to reset our mana number. So that would, actually, that would be bad. We're about too much mana. I don't think it's too much mana. And in the last game, we had like 47 heat and like 20 mana. This is going to proc eventually. So I don't think it's too much mana. Haven't seen a stream of yours in ages? Lady Jupiters. How you been? How have you been? It's been a long time coming. No dragon heat. I think we'll still be fine because we have the deck of cards. With uh, this. We can use this for four. We get two clovers at the start of the game, which is going to be what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we start off with ten heat and like, you know? I mean, the, the dragon was just giving us four. I mean, we could even put these inside of the backpack spot and get even more heat if we're like, you know, that's like in a worry. But I think we should probably do this situation. I'm considering getting this low key. Cause I mean, this will hatch in two rounds. But it'll be round 16 when it hatches. If we can get another ice dragon, that'll be round 17 when we have the ice dragon. We'll play with it for like one round, but like, you know. Have I stopped playing Rocket? Yeah, I stopped playing Rocket League. I have stopped. No more Rocket League for me. Yeah, I don't think we get this. Getting it early would have been nice, but egg isn't worth. I think the same. I think for the sake of the build, it would be nice, but as far as like making the build better, I don't think so. No cars, only backpack. <laughs> Right. All right, let's see if we generate too much mana. It's close. It's definitely close. Very close, in fact. But I think we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Super close. We still lose, but super close. <laughs> super close. Very, very close. Very close. Okay. Um, I'm about to get rid of the shovel, I think. I don't mind that. That's just extra nicey nice. A toad? I don't think I mind a toad actually. You did real rapier? Yeah. I mean, I don't want the rapier in the build at the end of the build. It was just there for clover generation. I mean, it would have been nice for extra, like, DPS, too, but... Honestly, I don't even want the flutes here. I mean, the lamps. I don't even want the lamps here. This lamp. I want this lamp here. I don't want this lamp here. That's why I'm probably not going to buy this oil lamp. Even though it would help in the build, I, I don't want to buy it. That was horrible. All right. Um, I think we're going to move you, my friend, right here. Can even do like this. Have this extra one left over. I guess we'll just do this. Just to make him as like fast as possible.
Um, I'll have to change this giraffe situation somehow. I guess I could like move over here and then do this. And then Jerry could actually go right there. Okay. You can go there. This can go... That's probably the better spot, right? Yeah. And then, um... I don't think I do that combination, but just for the sake of getting the heat, I think we're just gonna put all that inside the backpack slots. To be honest. I guess I can move you over here to make you 30% faster. works for me lamp in the fanny not cold I mean this is 30% faster double fannies will be 20% unless I just figure out a way to move it over there but then the dragon's not gonna have the fannies anymore but I mean it's faster on Falcon Blade than uh, down there I don't know if we can get a lamp proc when this reaches 12, we'll gain the block. But will we have enough of the other blocks by the time the opponent reaches 12 cold for a lamp proc? I don't know. I wouldn't mind finding out. If the ore procs, that's true. If the ore procs, it's higher chance. We also need spikes, and this is our only spike generator besides the orb itself, right? Well, we'll see. If we win this last round. Um, what was this? Okay, he's got a little bit of survivability. His build doesn't seem crazy, though, which is good. All right, let's see what happens. I'm glad I got rid of that shovel. Because this guy's got a shield and a trumpet, so our stamina would have been very bad. He's also got... Oh, we're getting infinite mana because of the bird. Wait, no, the heat. Oh, that was so clutch. The coals? Oh, the coals were so clutch. We were we were getting infinite heat, but then we were, we were getting infinite mana because the bird removed our clover and we just proc the mana orb. And we actually proc the lamp. Wow. But yeah, that was the coals were actually clutch right there. Wait, how? Oh, the card. Okay, so the card flipped. And then we started getting infinite heat. And I think right here, the Jinx removed our clover. And then we got mana and then mana. And then more mana. And then the clover was used to get even more mana right here. And then that's when the coals procced. And we started gaining more heat from the burning coals. And then that's when the heat took back over. Damn, that was clutch. Otherwise, we would have just got infinite mana. I mean, we would have procced the mana orb faster. But still, I don't want infinite mana. That's scary. And then when did the Jijin lamp proc? Right here. Yeah, so wait, did the mana orb ever proc? I don't think the mana orb ever proc. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, cool. So, enemy Jinx can make uh, you trigger a lamp and ruin your entire build. Yeah, if the Jinx removes one of the clovers, then mana might take over. 35? I thought it was 30. Uh, oh, it is 35. You're right. For some reason, I thought it was 31. I don't know why. But you're right, it is 35. So today, I still hear the music from your stream from back then. The Derek gang with me. Really? You remember the music? The, um, the Derek music? Dang. Do you still listen to him? 
Rape you on sale is nice. I want more blue gems though. Pretty proper ice and fire build. We need the W key some blue jewels. I think that's the only thing we need right now is just blue jewels. I mean, maybe another misfortune, maybe? But mainly blue jewels? Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is actually good. This gives me four spikes for the lamp. That's a blue jewel if I've ever seen it. And we can get this combination and move this over here. Nice. But this is also going to give me more mana, though. <laughs> we got to be worried about that. The Falcon Blade generates those mana. Damn, we forgot about that. Honestly, we might be selling the mana orb. That is a very true possibility here. Mana orb might be sold. And putting this inside the armor slot might be better. Because the mana that we, uh, the gain can just turn into block. Sell the garlic, sure. Damn, I forgot about it. I wasn't paying attention to that. Falcon Blade could actually generate us mana. And it could grief us. Put it on the dragon, maybe? But we want the cold. It's gonna generate us more cold than the dragon can. If it was inside the dragon slot. You can move it out of worse spot. That's true. We could literally just move it here where it's not on the Falcon Blade anymore. And that's less mana generation, but like... We only we only need this to get to 10. If, if this like setup we have now gets us a 10, the mana orb is kind of like not useless, but you know. We'll see what happens here. If we need to like move, move mana orb. Holy crap, that's close. I think we're fine. No, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah, we're fine. But that's extremely close. That is extremely close. That was extremely close. Way closer than Confer. I'm glad we moved the mana orb. We're literally tied 12 12 here. Literally tied. We could have went. We could have went heat or mana in that one instance. I mean, if push comes to show, if, if we get infinite mana, mana orb is just going to proc and then we're just going to go back to infinite heat, right? So, like, I guess it's not like a super duper crazy big deal at the end of the day. Um, but still. I think I'd feel safer if this was, like, down here, though. Okay. Um. I don't want another Mr. Struggles. I want another Sapphire. Like, I want another W key Sapphire. Like, truly. Kind of all I want. I might even get rid of... Well, not get rid of. But probably move this so the battle can last longer. <laughs> as dumb as that sounds. I wouldn't mind the battle lasting longer. That's nice. We don't really need space. Do we need these jewels? No. No. We're not using buffs for anything. So no. We're not using food, except for blueberries, but... Mm, no. So yeah, we don't need any jewels for anything. Okay, cool. Hold up. I think my, uh, I think my parents are at the Dewey. I'm back. I've returned. If you get space, you can use your skill. What the dark ritual? Are you? Oh, you're talking about super spacious? I don't even use this thing for anything. I mean, I guess the twenty percent is nice, but like, let's be honest. He uses super spacious for super spacious. Hi, Samuel. 
You want me to get the prismatic uh, orb? Cold card is cool too. I was looking at that. I'm not gonna lie. I was looking at the dragon uh, card a little bit. It's a tad. I know it's garbage. It is. But I'm gonna get space anyways. Um. I just bought space. I should never bought this. God damn it. We're fine. Dang it. Um. Did I combine this? This is gonna give me this 40%. So we got what? 50%? Or we can have a 55%? <laughs> we can combine both of these and get 50%. No, I don't know. I think this is better. Just put it on the armor slot. I get an offering bowl, pyro, and recycle it. <laughs> it back <laughs> after I get bags. It's useful ish at sometimes. It's it's okay, I I guess. If it was like 10% faster, that would been better. Cause like who's gonna have those open slots? You know what I mean? Like 10% faster for each slot for a maximum of 40% faster would have been better in my opinion. I love how we just got rid of his coal that he put on us at the beginning of the game because of the uh, the burning coals. Oh, this is a true fight. Look at this build. Oh, let's go. 71 heat and 52 cold. This is a true ice and fire build right here, boys. A true ice and fire build. That's nice. I like those numbers. It's just good to get bags on so it's literally worse than one burning coal. <laughs> okay, what else do we want? Um, Should we even go for more jewels? I don't know. That actually might have greased me for that two heat. <laughs> Possibly, actually. Could get this. <laughs> nah, for 10 gold, no. Um, I could get the ice dragon and get this to be a little bit faster, I guess. Nah. Prismatic sword? I mean, prismatic orb? Nah. Another giraffe? Sure. I'll take another giraffe. This guy? 20% faster? Mm. Or another lamp? I guess we could go another lamp. I mean, we did just buy another giraffe. That's more clover generation being eaten up, right? So, I mean, getting another lamp for clover generation might not be bad. Speed up is good for the topaz. Yeah, but where are we going to put it? That's the thing. Because I'm not removing these from the falcon blade. We need these for ice generation. We have an infinite heat bill. So do we really need the, uh, the increase in 20% speed? I don't know. Is this guy really using blue gems on his weapons? Si, sí, senor. Si. Sí. Si, sí, indeed. That's crazy. Two to Sassfires? Uh, I, yeah. Uh, Master. Oh, well. Give me another one. I could also get this, uh, cap. Hmm, I could sell you. And this. We'll get, damn it, I want both of those. I need to sell one more thing. This. And then we'll just put the blue gem on there for more armor generation. And then this can... Uh... I forgot the falcon blade. Boom. And then this can go here, actually, for the 20% increase. So that should generate us more clover generation. For the misfortune that we have. And yeah. All right, here we go. Ice and fire build. Hey, Crystallize. Hey, little PK. What's, uh, what's this monstrosity? This is our ice and fire build. For a reaper. Oh, looks like we got a survivor. Triple cheese. Ruby's inside of the double axe. And he's, he's got uh, some survivability here. 
It should be a pretty long battle. You're looking at your comments? From, uh, from what? Oh, sh how is he removing our... Our heat, Loki? There we go. Come on, just get more heat. More heat. Just need more heat. More heat. More heat me. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Nice. I need a lot more heat than that, my friend. We can do this. We can do this. Just keep making him colder. Ever so slightly. Keep making him colder. He can heal if he wants to. That's fine. Nice. How did he rem He removed, like, some of my heat. Somehow. 38 cold. Not even close. How did he remove my heat? What? Uh, hold up. Did he not remove some of my heat on me? I know he did. I know he did. Nice. I think he removed some of my heat. Busted 